All right, it's Rob. And I'm back in the car again. Not very well lit, because the sun's over here, and I'm over here. I'm trying to continue installing the um, the dash cam that I got a while ago. I finally did get it attached good to the windshield. Um, so I've had it working with the cigarette lighter plug, which is okay, but it's kind of cumbersome, and it's like every time I have to plug or unplug the cigarette lighter plug. And sometimes I don't remember, and I just don't want to drain the battery over a long period of time. But what I do have is now I am, I've got the kit that I need to do the installation on. And I know the location of the fuse box, which um, in the passenger compartment is underneath here. Where it's really difficult to get to. Uh, You know, it's back up in there. And if that looks like a difficult place to get to, well, you may be right. Uh, so what I've had to do is go through and test these fuses to find out which ones are powered with just the auxiliary circuit. And that blue one right there is the one that I found that is only on when the key is on and it is off when the key is off. So that's the one we're going to use. And I also want to find out which one of these is the hot side to make sure that I'm plugging the uh, plugging the adapter in correctly. So we're going to turn the power on. And of course, something is not going to be powered, but we'll check and see which one of these prongs has the supply voltage on it. And it is this outer one. Okay. Now that means that we're going to want to plug this in this direction so that we're feeding the power to the system through this fuse. So these adapters also have this piggyback so that this is going to feed the... Uh... Oh, come on. I have the wrong adapter. No, no, this is great. This is right. I'm sure it is. Maybe it's not. All right, let me see if I got the right adapter. That would be bad. And I do. I believe. Hmm. Let me check more. That seems more likely to be the correct one. Oh yeah, okay, that is, that is the correct one. So let's put this in. <sighs> Have I mentioned awkward before? Alright, I'm going to use two hands for this, and the camera's going to be in the way, so just trust me that I'm going to do this properly. Alright, I had to crawl in there upside down to do it, but let's see if I've got it right. So right now the key is off, and the key is on. So that is, that is working properly, and it seems like everything else is on, so I think we're good to go. Now I just have to route this cable. Alright, I have the camera mounted here. So I'm going to want to run the cable up underneath the lip of the window and around. So 
I'm going to start with this end because I don't want a lot of loose cable hanging here, so I want to get that end straightened first. So sometimes a set of automotive trim tools is a really good thing. Because that will help get you in behind the trim piece so that you can uh, get the cable in behind it so that it is properly tucked in. <sighs> Without having to try and remove the trim piece completely. I mean, that may have to still be an option depending on how good I can get this in because it's not wanting to get tucked in behind very well. And I'm trying to leave enough slack so that it will make it without trying to get pulled in. little bit better and then to go underneath this trim piece <sighs> okay that's a little bit better so I mean that's a Relatively nice clean installation of the cables, kind of hidden. Like that part. Now, just have to uh, hook it up down the bottom and put all the trim back. Okay, and there's my light. There's my light. And I have that. Okay, that is connected. And the one thing I need to find yet is a solid ground wire, or a solid ground connection, because I've got this split ring terminal that needs to go in there. And finding one. That is, I wonder if that's one. Let me see. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna have to crawl in underneath here again, so okay, see you guys in a minute. All right, so I've got everything attached. I've got the wires tucked up under here and tied to this, so it's not gonna be bouncing around too much. Now I just need to reinstall this flap and we should be good to go. And so it's a little bit different than I thought. So first I'll turn the key on to the accessory position. And it doesn't come on. And it's like, uh-oh. So I decided, all right, let me start the car. <laughs> okay. I'll live with that. I can, uh, I can go with when the car is running, not just when it's turned off. So, I will survive with that. I think that's uh, good enough for me, for what I need to do. There is still the rear backup cam or the rear camera that I need to route uh, the wires for, and that's going to be a bit more of an, an ordeal because I'm going to have to go along the bottom of the floor instead of trying to run along the top because of all the airbag stuff that's in there. So I'm not gonna mess with airbags. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. I will see you guys yet another time.